because I'm his teammates, I'm ticked off. If I'm the Nets, I'm even more ticked off. But, what, you know, let me take that back. If I'm his teammates, I'm ticked off. The Nets shouldn't be ticked off because they knew what they were getting. They knew Kyrie was moody. They knew he was mercurial, and they knew he had these bouts where, and people have said, Kyrie would be fine one day, and then he would go a month or two months without speaking to anybody. Mm -hmm. So you knew exactly what you were getting. Uh, but again, Skip, this is what we call production and tolerance. Kyrie Irving produces at an extremely high level. So here, your tolerance level for this kind of behavior yep. is accept you are accepted. My thing is, Skip, and I've always said this, whatever Kyrie may or may not be dealing with, deal with it. Got no problem. But just like he texted his teammates or called his teammates and said he wasn't showing up, he should have done that with the Nets. He should have done that with Steve Nash. He should have given Sean Marks that exact courtesy. But he already told Steve Nash what he thought of him when he said, we don't need a coach. So he already told the level of disrespect is already there on that behalf. This notion, oh, yeah, this guy was an MVP and he coached other, that, that ain't got nothing to do with it. Kyrie Irving doesn't view Steve Nash as an equal of his, mm -hmm. even though he won those MVPs. He, he, that was disrespectful for him to say that outright anyway. And then during the game, you on a call? A teleconference about somebody running for the DA's office. Mm -hmm. Really? Yep. Really? Mm -hmm. And everybody going to say, oh, man, you know, he's dealing with, okay, deal with it. It's a fundraiser that he was on. Come so, on, man. Really? The, the blatant level of disrespect it is. that agree. Kyrie Irving has shown for this teammates yep. and this organization. But I don't even feel bad because <laughs> the Nets was willing to sign up on this because it meant they were also getting Kevin Durant. I believe if they could have got Kevin Durant without Kyrie, they would have passed. But it was a package deal, Skip. When they say you get two for one, you can't buy these items separately. You got to buy both, even though you only want one. Agreed. And that's what they had to do. They had to buy both items, even though they only wanted one. Kyrie Irving, whatever he's going through, I wish him the best. I hope everything is well. Mm -hmm. But there's a level of disrespect that he's displayed that's very, very unprofessional. <laughs> and he's been that way. It was, that, it was, it was, it was LeBron Falsy in Cleveland. Now, I don't know whose fault it was, but it was somebody's fault other than Kyrie in Boston. So now he's in Brooklyn, where he wants to be. Now, I want to know whose fault this is. Kyrie needs to deal with what Kyrie's doing, but Kyrie needs to maintain a level of professionalism. Mm. Regardless of what you're going through, you must be professional at all times because you're in a professional environment, mm. period. Mm. It's, it's so disrespectful. I think it's disrespectful to KD, because KD... KD went there. Y'all were a package deal. KD can basically vouch for you. Yep. KD is the, KD is the one that, that man, Kai, Kai is, is good people, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. But he's actually turned into Kanye. He Kanye Irving. I can't disagree. Again, I don't know exactly what the issue is, but it seems like there's always an issue. Can we, but Skip, even if there's an issue, yep. can we maintain a certain level of professionalism? Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. I mean, yeah, people have issues. Be You don't have to be a professional. You don't have to be an artist or an entertainer or a basketball player or a CEO. Skip, there are a lot of people that have issues. But my only thing is, no matter what the situation is, you must maintain a certain level of professionalism. The common courtesy, 